Welcome back to our backyard fun show. We are live for the hour here at the fireplace in Middletown, kind of getting your whole backyard ready with the perfect uh, grill. And now we're switching over to fire pits as well as something that every single backyard needs. I'm with David Creason, the operations manager here, right? This is where all the fun happens. Yeah, Everything absolutely. right here. This is the fun part of the backyard. Yeah, this is kind of really what we think about when we go yeah. out and sit in the backyard or those nights cool off and want to be outside, but you don't want to freeze. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've got a couple Couple different options that we're looking at. Right? I really love these little, um, these are what, tabletop mm -hmm. little little yep, kits. The mesas, yep, obviously you can see we've got a variety of colors. Um, these are great, they can work off just sticks you find in your yard, um, or you can use pellets, and so. Um, and these are not, we should say, not to stay warm, yeah. or, or, but these are more, these are great for like little tabletop s'more mm. making and Absolutely. things like that. You yeah. could have it on your table. Yeah, do it with the kids. Yeah. Um, have them come out and roast some marshmallows. You know, we've got fire starters. You can just pop one of those in. Yeah, you set it down into your grill. Uh, you've got pellets. We Here, have. Hold those up yeah, too. What are those? Them. These are pellets. These are just wood heat pellets. Okay. Uh, you can pick them up here from us. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not so close by, there's little stores around town that sell them. You just kind of pour some in. Okay. And then you light your uh, fire starter in the middle. That's it. And then yeah, a couple minutes, you have a nice hot fire, no right. smoke kind of getting anybody's eye. If you're still using a sterno to do your s'mores, don't do that. This is right. the way to go, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, this is, yeah, you can set it, you know, on a table. Yeah. Um, it's got a little stand, so you don't have to worry about it burning the table or hurting anything below it. Um, you know, it gets warm, but it's not going to leave any kind of marks. So just be careful, right. but have fun. Obviously, that's kind of the important that's thing. That's what I like about these. These are these are safe. These are a smaller flame, mm -hmm. super contained. This is what it's for is making those little s'mores. Um, and, and what is the price point for these? Uh, these right now are like six seventy nine dollars. Yeah, nice. so yeah, pick up one or two, make great gifts for family, for birthdays. Um, whatever else you might want. Easter. This is a great little Easter yeah, gift. If you're great. going to somebody's house, bring something with you. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. All right. on the From these are the smaller ones. And then we're going to show everybody the smokeless fire pit that's out in front of us. How does that work? Yeah, so that's the Brio right in front of us Gorgeous. is the 30 inch stainless steel. So that's the biggest one that Brio makes. Uh, and so, um, you know, you get a fire, um, so it smokes for a minute or two. Once it gets hot, there's an air chamber kind of in between the sidewalls there. It gets superheated air. Oh, wow. That superheated air rises up through those holes that we see in the fire pit. Mm -hmm. uh, and you get what they call a reburn on the smoke, so you don't have that smoke constantly, you know, following you around. It's like the it's worst. And then you smell like smoke, right, <laughs> overnight. Right. And the next day it gets in your hair and everything. Yeah, yeah it does. We've all been there. We've yeah. all sat around the campfire. And it seems like, you know, no matter where you it the smoke's right in your face but you're not going to have that problem with a brio uh, it's sitting on a base so if you need to set it on That's something nice. like a deck or something like that that base will protect it mm -hmm. uh, brio also offers a wide variety of accessories so if you want to cook on it they have a sear plate oh, um, wow. So like on a 30 inch, you can cook for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, there's a grill you can set on top of that. If you want to do that, we've got a kettle hook. If you want to do some kind of stew, you know, cool. great for those cool spring and fall nights when you want something warm. Um, not only to sit by, to also eat. Use it for a variety of things. But I also want to mention there's a variety of sizes that you have to sit at. This is too big for you. You have what, a size down? Yeah, so obviously we start kind of at the tabletop. Yeah. Uh, and then so, and then in the Brios, there's a 19 inch. Mm -hmm. um, there's a portable version. So if you're a tailgater uh, or a camper. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, you and you can me. actually yeah, put charcoal in that. Mm -hmm. um, you can use pellets in the Brio as well. Um, so they've got the 19, the 24, which is kind of our most common size. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you step up into the 30s. So if you've got a really big space or you like a really big fire, um, you can go with the 30 inch, that. yeah. Well, I know you guys are also looking ahead and planning your big grand opening. You all opened last fall, uh, but you're kind of having this big spring kickoff coming up, what, April 15th? Yeah, April 15th. That's a Saturday. Uh, it's the week before Thunder and the week after Easter. Uh -huh. So kind of sitting right Great. there in the middle. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be from 11 uh, in the morning till 6 at night. We're going to have some local vendors here. Uh, we're going to have some of our um, vendors from Blaze and some Pits and Spits. They're going to be doing some cooking. So there'll be things to come out and sample. Um, so all that stuff we kind of talked about earlier, you can come and get a piece of. Danos is going to be here yeah. sampling their seasonings. Um, we're going to have some tents out in the parking lot. Uh, we've got a couple of different giveaways. We've got a little pizza oven that's going to be oh, raffled off. Nice. And this is all, you know, there's no cost for entry. You just got to show up and get yourself a ticket. 
Oh man, that's gonna be yeah, great. it's gonna, be, gonna be really cool. good. And I feel like a really good way too to kind of show off the different things that you can do with your products, right? It's one thing to look at this beautiful smokeless fire pit and think, oh, and you can grill on it, but to be able to see how things work, yeah. right? It, it's just like uh, it kind of opens our minds up to the possibilities of what you're buying. So I know it's gonna be a great event. Yeah, well, we'll have the fire pit out there going, uh, so everybody can kind of stand around and and stay warm. Hopefully, it it's out. not you know raining or anything. Don't but jinx us with that. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Well, thank you so much for showing us around uh, some of the different products and price points that you have. So come on out to the Fireplace's big open house. It's happening April the 15th, and that's going to be from 11 to 6 p.m. Their address here is 10408 Shelbyville Road. So that's coming up.